We have been trying for weeks now to speak to the head of the Buffalo School District about problems at McKinley High School an assault on teachers, chronic tardiness, and complaints from neighbors and educators. Well, today he held an announcement to highlight some of the big improvements in the district's graduation rates and also the performance of schools that were in pretty bad shape just a few years ago. So we wanted to try and talk to him there. Two on your side's Claudine Ewing shows us what happened. On a day when the Buffalo School Superintendent celebrated and called this one of the best times for the school district, he's right. Schools in good standing doubled. The graduation rate has drastically improved. It's now 64.5% for 14 high schools. Some schools have an 80% grad rate. The Buffalo Public Schools is turned around. It's turned around. He says it's no longer a failing district, but a thriving district when you consider the graduation rate at one point was below 50 percent. While that may be true, the good news comes at a time when the union representing the teachers voiced concern about safety. This after a McKinley High School teacher was body slammed by a student and charged with felony assault. The teacher placed on administrative leave. It's a school where teachers voted no confidence in the principal. We've heard from a parent group, neighbors and students, the teachers union, and we've made repeated attempts to hear from the superintendent. We tried today. No, 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 that nothing. This, this, is, this is what we're talking about today. The room was filled with school district employees and pretty much all high school principals, including McKinley's principal. He wasn't talking either. Not in attendance. The teachers union president, Phil Ramore. Listen as I asked why. Why wasn't the teachers union president here? Was he part of this or? Did What's he your question? As you can see and hear, it was not an issue he wanted to discuss. Will there be another time we can talk about the other issues, Dr. Cash? Not today, but is there another time? Not that issue. Well, that issue. But I'm not today. At least for the Calm down with it. He has issued statements. The latest came Wednesday evening. Meanwhile, as the district makes advancements, board members are urging. I want to ask the principals to do is to get our parents engaged. She would like to see 1,000 parents actively engaged. If we can get our parent piece together, we can move this district off the chart. Claudine Ewing, Channel 2 News.